is typically when the Georgia real estate industry heats up. But just how hot the season gets is anyone's guess. Higher home prices coupled with lower inventory and fewer housing starts could cause sales to lag. And mortgage rates continue to creep up, adding more stress to first-time home buyers. To get a grasp on how all this will play out in the coming months, I'm joined by Metro Studies Senior Regional Director Eugene James. So let's Hi. start. How are you? Welcome to the show again. It's good to be here. Good to see you. You know, it's a lot going on in the housing market. We've been hearing that demand is up because the economy is doing really well. Jobs, everyone's working mostly. Right. Uh, but home prices are rising and there's a reason why. Yes. Low supplies. Indeed, indeed. How low are supplies? How low can it go? Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's extremely low. We, we're we're uh, looking at all-time record lows for inventory levels right now, around a 2.2 month supply. Wow. Six months used to be normal, so we're very, very low. That's really low. It is, yes. And so why are they so low? What's uh, going on? A couple of different reasons. I think um, during the downturn, you had a lot of uh, investment companies buying up houses for pennies on the dollar, and they're renting those houses out with no intentions of selling them. So that's dried up an awful lot of inventory. And so you think about those homes that are being rented, I would think those were probably houses that were for first-time home buyers. Uh, what that's does right. this mean for them? They don't have a lot of money. But, right. You know, wanting to buy a house. Well, uh, you know, it, it's interesting. The median uh, home price throughout all of Metro Atlanta, it's still about 190,000, which seems reasonable. Uh, and I am really surprised that you can still find a home uh, in the 150 to 200 thousand dollar price range, relatively close in. The key is, uh, you know, the realtors. They're having to work extremely hard. I, I'm, I'm hearing that there's on average like five houses or five offers per every one house uh, in that price range. So that to me means there's some bidding wars going on. Yes. And how does that impact the process? Well, bidding wars are taking place. A lot of frustrated uh, purchasers out there, um, they're, they're finding that they need to put in their, their best offer right away and sometimes even a little bit higher than the actual asking price. Wow, so it's good news if you're selling the house, you're getting a lot more money, but oftentimes you're selling the house because you're planning to move and buy something else. Yeah, that's right. Is the market better for those who are aspirational buyers or going to that second level home? Well, in, indeed, the, the higher you go in terms of home price, uh, the, the a little bit more opportunity pops up out there. Uh, but, but inventory is low in every single price point. We've never seen inventory levels uh, quite this low throughout the Atlanta region. So are, are home builders just taking a wait and see approach or are they, what's, what's going on with them? Well, uh, we are approaching a, a relatively lot shortage crisis. So a lack of land. Lack of land, right. Wow. Uh, of course, you know, the further you go out, the more land opportunities exist, but uh, in the core markets where builders really wanna be, there's a lot shortage taking place, and I suspect it's going to get worse. And that means prices are going to go up. That is correct. So, so let's talk a little bit about where there is more land. Sure. Um, we've been hearing a lot about economic development wins, if you will, mm -hmm. uh, distribution centers in mm -hmm. the suburbs and exurbs, data centers, all of these right. factories. Does that create an opportunity for not just home builders, but for home buyers? Yes. Uh, the short answer is you are correct. There is uh, there are employment opportunities popping up further out in the exurbs these days, and uh, if for if for no other reason, uh, purchasers are looking in in the exurbs, the further out portions of Metro Atlanta, where they can find a more affordable home. Builders are even in those markets. Builders really can't build fast enough to meet today's demand for housing. And so then, looking forward. Is this now the new norm for us, or will we see another cycle? That's an excellent question. Once again, uh, six months used to be the normal level for supply. We're at two, 2.2 months. I believe the new norm is gonna be closer to four months. Either way I look at it, there, there's gonna be a shortage here in the Atlanta market for quite a while. And you know there are more people moving to the metro Atlanta area. That's got to impact us moving forward as well. <laughs> Eugene James, I think it's safe to say we'll have you back on the show to talk a little bit more about the housing market. Always a pleasure. Thank you. And now to our photo of the week. 
Atlanta Business Chronicle photographer Byron Smalls captured this image. Marriott International Area General Manager Erica Qualls Beatty showered with lights and plenty of love. She's honored at the 35th Annual YWCA Salute to Women of Achievement Awards.